Electrological fluids are suspensions of extremely fine non-conducting but electrically active particles in an electrically insulating fluid. The apparent viscosity of these fluids changes reversibly by an order of up to 100,000 in response to an electric field. The effect is sometimes called the Winslow effect after its discoverer, the American inventor Willis Winslow, who obtained a U.S. patent on the effect in 1947 and wrote an article published in 1949. Applications the normal application of air fluids is in fast-acting hydraulic valves and clutches, with the separation between plates being in the order of 1 mm and the applied potential being in the order of 1 kV. In simple terms, when the electric field is applied, an air hydraulic valve is shut or the plates of an air clutch are locked together. When the electric field is removed the air hydraulic valve is open or the clutch plates are disengaged. Other common applications are in air brakes and shock absorbers. There are many novel uses for these fluids. Potential uses are in accurate abrasive polishing and as haptic controllers and tactile displays. Air fluid has also been proposed to have potential applications in flexible electronics with the fluid incorporated in elements such as rollable screens and keypads, in which the viscosity change and qualities of the fluid allowing the rollable elements to become rigid for use, and flexible to roll and retract for storing when not in use. Motorola filed a patent application for mobile device applications in 2006. The Air Effect the change in apparent viscosity is dependent on the applied electric field, i.e., the potential divided by the distance between the plates. The change is not a simple change in viscosity, hence these fluids are now known as air fluids, rather than by the older term electroviscous fluids. The effect is better described as an electric field-dependent shear yield stress. When activated an air fluid behaves as a Bingham plastic, with a yield point which is determined by the electric field strength. After the yield point is reached, the fluid shears as a fluid, i.e., the incremental shear stress is proportional to the rate of shear. Hence the resistance to motion of the fluid can be controlled by adjusting the applied electric field. Air fluid composition and theory. Air fluids are a type of smart fluid. A simple air fluid can be made by mixing corn flour in a light vegetable oil or silicone oil. There are two main theories to explain the effect. The interfacial tension or water bridge theory and the electrostatic theory. The water bridge theory assumes a three-phase system. The particles contain the third phase, which is another liquid immiscible with the main phase liquid. With no applied electric field the third phase is strongly attracted to and held within the particles. This means the air fluid is a suspension of particles, which behaves as a liquid. When an electric field is applied the third phase is driven to one side of the particles by electroosmosis and binds adjacent particles together to form chains. This chain structure means the air fluid has become a solid. The electrostatic theory assumes just a two-phase system, with dielectric particles forming chains aligned with an electric field in an analogous way to how magnetrheological fluid fluids work. An air fluid has been constructed with the solid phase and made from a conductor coated in an insulator. This air fluid clearly cannot work by the water bridge model. However, although demonstrating that some air fluids work by the electrostatic effect, it does not prove that all air fluids do so. The advantage of having an air fluid which operates on the electrostatic effect is the elimination of leakage current, i.e., potentially there is no direct current. Of course, since air devices behave electrically as capacitors, and the main advantage of the air effect is the speed of response. An alternating current is to be expected. The particles are electrically active. They can be ferroelectric or, as mentioned above, made from a conducting material coated with an insulator or electroosmotically active particles. In the case of ferroelectric or conducting material, the particles would have a high dielectric constant. 
There may be some confusion here as to the dielectric constant of a conductor, but, if a material with a high dielectric constant is placed in an electric field, the magnitude of that field will be measurably reduced within the volume of the dielectric. And since the electric field is zero in an ideal conductor, then in this context the dielectric constant of a conductor is infinite. Another factor that influences the Err effect is the geometry of the electrodes. The introduction of parallel grooved electrodes showed slight increase in the Err effect but perpendicular grooved electrodes doubled the Err effect. A much larger increase in air effect can be obtained by coating the electrodes with electrically polarizable materials. This turns the usual disadvantage of dielectrophoresis into a useful effect. It also has the effect of reducing leakage currents in the air fluid. The giant electrological fluid was discovered in 2003, and is able to sustain higher yield strengths than many other air fluids. The GER fluid consists of urea-coated nanoparticles of barium-titanium oxalate suspended in silicone oil. The high yield strength is due to the high dielectric constant of the particles, the small size of the particles and the urea coating. Another advantage of the GER is that the relationship between the electrical field strength and the yield strength is linear after the electric field reaches 1 kV per millimeter. The GER is a high yield strength but low electrical field strength and low current density fluid compared to many other ER fluids. The procedure for preparation of the suspension is given in. The major concern is the use of oxalic acid for the preparation of the particles as it is a strong organic acid. Problems and advantages A major problem is that air fluids are suspensions, hence in time they tend to settle out. So advanced air fluids tackle this problem by means such as matching the densities of the solid and liquid components, or by using nanoparticles which brings air fluids into line with the development of magnetoreological fluids. Another problem is that the breakdown voltage of air is tilde 3 kV per millimeter, which is near the electric field needed for air devices to operate. An advantage is that an air device can control considerably more mechanical power than the electrical power used to control the effect, i.e., it can act as a power amplifier. But the main advantage is the speed of response. There are few other effects able to control such large amounts of mechanical or hydraulic power so rapidly. Unfortunately, the increase in apparent viscosity experienced by most electrorheological fluids used in shear or flow modes is relatively limited. The air fluid changes from a Newtonian liquid to a partially crystalline, semi-hard slush. However, an almost complete liquid to solid phase change can be obtained when the electrorheological fluid additionally experiences compressive stress. This effect has been used to provide electroreological braille displays and very effective clutches.